Electric Warlock. Hey everybody, I'm Electric Warlock, and today I'm gonna get photobombed by the Wandering Trader. No, uh, I'm gonna show you how to make a, what's effectively a wireless redstone repeater. Uh, I did this in episode 24, season one of uh, Technically Survival, uh, to to, to uh, run my gold farm rather than running a bunch of redstone and redstone torches all over the place. Uh, I did this setup instead, and I kind of liked how it turned out. So, uh, first I'm gonna show you how it works real quick. Uh, so I'm using note blocks as the activating block, and you'll understand what I'm what I'm doing with that here in a minute. But uh, you you can use any block that a, a calibrated skulk sensor can detect activating. So, but I'm using note blocks for this. You just activate the first one, sends a signal to the second one, sends a signal to the third one, and it just it keeps going and going and going until you know it runs out of uh, skulk sensors to pick up the signal. So, as, like I said, it just needs to be a block that the skulk sensor can detect being activated. Uh, I tried it with a dropper up here, but for some reason the, the calibrated skulk sensor doesn't detect that. So if I activate the note block, that'll get it. And you can hear the, the, the click off of the, the dropper. I'm not with the slime bouncing around. Hear that click? Uh, but for some reason, the, the next sensor doesn't pick it up. I, so I tried it with a dispenser, and that does work. Uh, so if you want something a little quieter than a note block, click, and it goes to the next one. So you can use a dispenser if you want. Uh, you can also use uh, an iron trap door. You could probably use any trap door. I didn't try it, but you can, you, the iron trap door definitely works. It just gives a little flick. It kind of gives you both a visual and an auto audio uh, signal that it worked. So you get the click from the sound and then the, uh, the door itself flapping up. Uh, and then uh, if you want it to be noisy uh go for a piston have that go off i said it only detects the block being activated so when the piston retracts it doesn't it doesn't activate the sensor it's only when it when it uh extends so you can like i said any any block that the skull sensor can detect being activated you can use why a uh, dropper doesn't work I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a bug uh but uh it doesn't work so but i i like to use note blocks because you can customize the sound uh what happens is uh, so you activate a block in this in this example the note block uh, this calibrated skulk sensor detects that vibration uh, and it's set with uh, thanks to the comparator and the dropper here uh, it's set to only uh, detect blocks being activated so it's not going to pick up every little uh, uh, vibration that comes through just a block being activated which in this case is the note block uh, so uh, when it detects that note block uh, being activated it then activates this note block which then sends the signal to this calibrated skulk sensor, does the whole thing again. Uh, a calibrated skulk sensor has a, a vibration detection of 16 blocks. So from this block, from this calibrated skulk sensor to that node block, you can have 16 blocks. And same thing for that one. So you can, you can spread them out uh, a, a full chunk, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, so the, the way it like so the way it works is you put down your calibrated skulk sensor, you point the comparator into it, and then uh, I'm using a dropper. You can use any container uh, as long as you can get that container to produce a signal strength of 7, uh, I believe, which is, is uh, which tells the calibrated skulk sensor to detect activating blocks. Uh, you can look check that, that on the wiki. Uh, make sure to get that right. Uh, from what I, I read, it was five, 5 full stacks of items plus 51 more, and that, that'll give you a signal strength of 7. Uh, so that that tells the calibrated skull sensor to only detect activated blocks, and when it does that, it'll activate that that block above it uh, and carry on the signal further. So, uh, so that's real easy to build. Uh, I'll do a actually do a third one uh, behind this one, uh, and it is uh, when they, I say 16 blocks for their detection range it is uh, taxi cab distance. So if you move a block, if you move if you count diagonally, that's two, not one. It's two blocks, two block space. So. Uh, so we go start, that's where the skulk sensor is, so we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and we want to go up to the height of the note block, so that'll be exactly 16. Uh, if I want to go lower, uh, lower, like if I want the, calibr the calibrated skulk sensors to be in, in line with each other, uh, I want to go back one and down one because uh, I, I got to count from the note block. So 
that's where this, the sensor would go. Uh, we put the comparator, we put the comparator in that space, and then the dropper on that space. So, dropper, comparator, twelve sensor. Put the sticks in there. One, two, three, four, five, plus fifty-one. And you want to surround it with wool uh, so that it doesn't pick up a signal from any other block activating around it. So, uh, just a really a precaution to make. Actually, we need the block to activate there. So then when I'll just, yeah, I'll just activate this one. Close down, hits that one, activate it. As long as you have the materials for it, it's real simple to, uh, to set up. I'd say it can be a little resource intensive because you need, uh, what is it, seven cobblestone and, a red, and redstone for the dropper. Uh, you need nether quartz, I think three redstone torches and three stone for the comparator. Uh, a skulk sensor plus three amethyst shards for the calibrated skulk sensor. Uh, wood, I think it's eight wood and redstone for the note block, plus the wool, which you can get from either making string or shearing sheep. So it, it does take a lot of materials, but uh, if you want to go uh, wireless instead of running redstone all over the place, you can do this kind of a setup. Uh, like I said, surround the calibrated skulk sensor with the wool to uh, to prevent other blocks from around it from, from activating it. Uh, but you do want... Whatever side you want it to detect, de de detect from, you do want that open. So if you actually had uh, so a block over here that you wanted it to to, uh, to detect, you'd get rid of that one. Maybe put a, some wool down there, and that way it, it only picks up from this side. So, uh, But then you would also have to kind of block off over here, do all that. So then it's definitely only picking up from over here. So you can have it detect from any side that you want as long as you put your wool down correctly so that it only picks up from that side. And I think that's it. So uh, let me know if you find this useful. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, and let me know if you got any other ideas you want me to try out. Electric Warlock.